Yeah, so in recent times, you know, we have seen a lot of noise which has been created by, you know, LLMs, chat GPT, you know, uh, and, you know, Llama, Llama 2, and all this, right? Okay. What is this, basically? What is a large model, basically, you know, large model? Take out this L over here. What is this large model, LM? Okay. <clears throat> so large model is nothing but it's a foundational model okay what is foundational model okay so foundational model is nothing but it's an you know a base model okay not a baseline model it's a base model basically which is uh, which has been trained on vast quantity of data at a scale so you know, and when you're training this foundational model basically you know you often use you know self uh, you know supervised learnings or you know, whatever you want to call it at you know semi supervised learning basically okay so this is how they do it okay so <clears throat> but why do we need these foundational models why do we need these okay why so these founding in back in days you know for every task for every task you know you, in the industry basically you know you we we would have developed an individualized model for everything okay so you know that wasn't really productive enough okay this line or this scaling of models in a timely manner wasn't really you know wasn't really helpful for for us basically for data scientists or for you know any organization to manage them okay to manage an individual model it used to cost too much of money basically okay so stanford basically you know came up with an uh, uh, with the word called foundational model and they have coined this particular word in 2021 okay from the stanford institute and uh, you know foundational model is a model basically which you have one model basically where you can downstream this particular model or you can upstream this particular model you know whatever you want to do it okay to any kind of industry as well as to any kind of use case basically okay so one of the poc or one of the concept oriented thing which you have seen in the recent times is nothing but an llm you know large language model basically you know this is this is if you take out this l in the middle this is nothing but a large model similarly and what is this large language model is doing over here you know it has been trained in a self-supervised way with the lot of amount of data okay uh, which is in the text and it will predict what would be the next sentence or you know it will predict the masked uh, you know sentence and all that stuff right basically and it will generate the text as if how you need it basically and all this all these activities has been done okay so if you want to apply the same generation you know basically we are in a field of generative ai right now in era of generative ai okay so if you really want to generate something more and more and more beyond this right so you take this foundational model okay fine tune it how you need it basically okay fine tune it however you need it okay fine tune it and to that particular use case you can fine tune it and you can develop anything for example one of the another foundational model which includes such as you know dali right and another thing which is nothing but flamingo okay you all know the you know what happened with dali basically you know you give a text uh, and that text can be converted into image and you know basically this is a foundational model so similarly you give the same text and you want to create a blog okay and you are you can use chat gpt for that and you know bard for that and whatever the tools you you know right now which you are seeing the change basically right so there are lot of applications can be happening you know basically in the same way where you know you can create the foundational model to generate the movies like adobe is trying to do it right now basically okay they want to plug this thing generate you engine 
into their uh, you know system basically okay so this is a field of a study or field field where you know where uh, we are moving forward from one stage to another stage inside of the ai okay so it is very interesting the generative you know down the line what i'm assuming is you know you will have some sort of a wavelengths and uh, you know you'll take those wavelengths as tone changes or anything else you know if you know for example you take this wave and you try to predict what would be the next wave you know as if like you know i'm speaking saying that you know uh, in 2020 you know 2024 elections uh, you know, i want to see some uh, good yeah, cyber security you know norms or geos has to be present so you know at that spot i'm literally done so what would be these the next you know it can generate taking this as an input you know the generative ai will have the capacity to generate what would happen in the next basically okay and uh, you know one of the key characteristics for these foundational models are you know it's emergence and it's uh, homogeneous genesis basically okay uh, because these are not really trained uh, on uh, the data which has been labeled by humans okay so uh, you you have that unstructured uh, basically unstructured data and you converted this complete data into a structured and by using you know self learning you know self supervised learning this model literally learned everything okay so down the line what i am seeing it would be an you know large video model you know like for the open cv or somewhere somewhere you know for yolo okay all that you will be seeing all these basically you know personalizing your foundational model will be very good and uh, you can really you know handle that specific particular thing or anything and right now you really don't need any kind of uh, you know stuff to do it or anything because you know already these models have been pre-trained okay and you can get these pre-trained models from you know hugging face and you can download them into your notebooks or into your work environment and you can run your own experiment on your own data basically you know own experiment on own data or the data which you have basically okay so you know so you don't need again these foundational models to go through that massive training basically massive training now take this pre-trained model from you know hugging face put it into your use case and get the results out basically you know this is one of the easiest way you can really personalize that is the one of the reason why you have seen and uh, land chain you know is a framework where you can create you know the llm based applications okay and there is an another thing which recently re released out from y labs called you know land kit isn't very useful library to please check it out I'll, i'm gonna post that in the description anyway okay and uh, similarly there is a lot of stuff which is going on and you know in my opinion you know uh, there are a lot of you know other works which are going on anyway and you know for example for image segmentation basically from you know uh, meta basically they are working on that and uh, they are calling it as you know uh, you know meta's uh, general image segmentation llm model and even google deep mind they are uh, using you know gato okay so for which they are preparing the reinforcement uh, what do you say learning agents okay reinforcement learning agents on the same concept of fm foundational model similarly and if you really want to develop a foundational model you should first have very good infra and then you know, very good money 
and then very good you know uh, technical capacity okay it is really expensive you know, to do all that stuff basically and, uh, and one of the best thing which you guys have been hearing about uh, you know llama 7b you know 13b and 70b which is open sourced basically okay so you can apply for it you can use it and you can try this pre trained model in on your own data set or on your whatever the data which you have access to into your own use case and develop the products from there basically okay and if you guys need it i'm going to post uh, my github fort thing you can use it from there too okay but yeah well in the next video i'll just show you how to pretty much apply for this and it is so crazy and people are just applying 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 for this okay but yeah this is you know at a high note uh, uh, these are foundational models it is very important to know what is a foundational model then you know you know what to work on or anything you know back in days yes i do agree you know you should know the algos you should know the stats behind it and you know with the amount of speed you know the technology is changing after the you know open ai opened up with the chat gpt and everything you know it's so crazy so you know i would suggest you know look into the models you know which are coming out you know from the face of you know, foundation model how companies are developing this foundation model and you know, how you can fine tune them you know how you can fine tune those foundational models for your own re for your own uh, uh, you know use case you know and how you can load that uh, low level labeled data okay into those foundational model to get some sort of an output okay look into this aspect of engineering basically and this is nothing but you know prompt engineering okay if i have to tell you so look into this and you learn more and as i said you know uh, please do like okay and subscribe the channel okay thank you very much